What's up, everybody? It's Bill from High Volume Games, a more aerodynamic Bill, and welcome to another episode of Bill's Day Off. Today, we are going to play one of my favorite games, as you know, because I've played it on the stream nearly half a dozen times. It is Legends of Boxing from Stone Mountain Press. So, those of you who've watched my videos, I do, like, the Volume Boxing Federation, uh, where, you know, guys, the guys fought, and then, uh, so now the winners fought the winners, the losers fought the losers, so in this second round of action, uh, we've got 18 one and oh fighters so we'll have nine one and oh versus one and oh matches uh and nine zero oh and one versus zero oh and one matches um and so tonight you are going to see one of those one and oh versus one and oh matches one of these guys is going to be the nine fighters that will move on into two and oh but you will see a vander holyfield and george foreman we saw that in real life we're going to see how it uh goes on the the tabletop tonight so i hope you guys enjoy it i'm sure it will be good all of our uh legends of boxing videos have been good uh i hope you have fun and then i'm gonna take you right now down to ringside to the action and then we'll come back up here for some post-match comments Okay, welcome to the ringside area. We are set to go for some 12 rounds of boxing action. Uh, right now, Foreman and Holyfield are in their corners. Uh, they have both decided to go into the pressure stance to start us off, uh, which should be interesting. Both fighters spend a lot of the time in pressure. Uh, Holyfield's got a little more of a, you know, all-around stance, but... Uh, Foreman is either going to be outside or pressure. Uh, so they are set to go, and we are set to go. The bell is about to ring, and I hope you enjoy. My apologies if you hear cats fighting, if you hear kids yelling. It's been that type of day in this neighborhood. <laughs> you just honestly, this is take two. The first one, I just saw a cat flip another cat on my bed. Very interesting. It's that type of night we've got fighters in the ring we got fighters on my bed what is going on okay let's get started round one holyfield and foreman okay so since they're both eight and eight we have a 16 versus a four so that's going to go control to foreman he has got a four and he rolls a 27 so it's going to be a combination one point Uh, 16 versus a 7 goes to Foreman. It's a 3, so it's a hit. And 28 is also... Oh no, now it's a 1-point cross. All right. Foreman in early control. Uh, 4 versus a 12, so it goes to Holyfield. It's a 3, so it's a hit. And an 89 is a 2-point combination. Uh, one verse seven, which means split action. Nobody gets control. So we look on the chart. They're both in pressure, so it's a brawl. So 23 is a clinch. Uh, 11 versus a three goes to uh, Foreman. Uh, two is a hit, because unfortunately, Holyfield's defense is a two, but because they're in pressure, he loses that. So it will be a hit. And 50 is a K6. It is a knockout attempt. Uh, Foreman's power, at least during the first three or four or five rounds, is going to be an 11, so he can basically hit on anything. Uh, so we're going to roll uh, Holyfield on the eight. Uh chin rating so let's see and it's an 88 so it's a two-point punch so 
Foreman gets a hit. It's a good hit. Looked like it staggered him a little bit, but not too bad. A 5 versus a 15 with a 6. That is going to Holyfield. It's a scoring punch, and it is an 05, which means it's a 2-point punch and a cut possibility. Now we look at Foreman's cut rating, which is a 7. So we're going to roll against his 7, which is a 7. And we roll a 10, so it's fine. No cut. Okay, so we're two minutes in. A 17 versus a 4 with a 5. That is a hit for Foreman. 57 is a one-point hook. So both fighters just swinging right now. And three versus a nine uh, is split action. Again, we're in brawl. Uh, 36 is juke and move. So that will not change anything. And 5-5, five and five, oh, but this is a 99, so on a 99 with the Brawl, they get two points each. And that's going to be, that could, even though it's very early in the first round, that could help uh, Holyfield because he's going to lose this round. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 points for uh, 7 points for Four men, six for Holyfield. Now, Holyfield, the reason I say that is because they're both going to get TKO points here. And Foreman only has a six for TKO points, so it's going to be quick to get up to his, you know, to his TKO watch. Um, so if he hadn't gotten that, uh, that 2.99 roll there, uh, yeah, he could have went to, out of the round without getting a TKO point. Okay, so Foreman won that round uh, as far as the points go. We won't know about the judging till after. Um, so we're going to roll to see if Holyfield's going to stay in pressure. He is not. He's going to go to outside. So we're going to put pressure here. And outside here. So that means that control is going to be now an 8 to 10. Uh, endurance. Each one lost 5 points because they're 4 point endurance plus the TKO point. So it's now 10 to 21. Uh, because Holyfield is moving out of pressure, he's going to now go to outside. He's going to get his one of his defenses back. So now he'll be a 2. Um, and then everything on the other charts, power, chin, and will, will stay the same. So now Holyfield will have less of control, but if he's going to get hit, he has less, he has a greater chance of defending it, and it might even counter. So, wait, I've only got four dice. Where is my fifth dice? It blends in. It's right there. Okay. Round two. Uh, two versus an 18 with a four. That's a scoring punch for Holyfield. 55 on the outside. Dizzy jab. One point. Um, 14 versus an 11 with a 4. That's a scoring punch. 53 is a knockdown attempt. Straight punch. So again, we're going to roll on that 8 chart for four. Foreman was the one who hit it. We're going to roll on the 8 chart for Holyfield. It's a triple zero. Or technically a double zero, but zero zeros and zero. So that is a 2 point punch. It's like at being 100. A two point punch for him. Foreman getting unlucky with these uh, knockdown rolls. Uh, 10 versus an 8. With a 3, 92 is a knockdown 
punch for Foreman. So once again, he's going to get another good shot in. This time it's an uppercut. 68 on the 8 is still a two-point punch. But he's, it's closer. You know, 63 to 0, zero is the range for an 8, so he needs to get to 62. Uh, 11 versus 4 uh, with 3 is a scoring punch for Foreman. Uh, 0, 2 is a 2-point punch with it's a two-point cross with a cut possibility. So we've already got him at six points for this round. Uh, we're going to roll Holyfield's cut rating this time. Uh, but his cut rating's a nine, so one or two is going to do it. And it's an 11, so he's fine. Uh, Ten versus a 15 with a three. That's a scoring punch for Holyfield. Uh, 41, though, is a K7, and unfortunately, Holyfield is a power 6, so it will be a 2-point punch for Holyfield. Uh, 15 versus a 10 with a 6. That's a scoring punch for Foreman. 74 is a 2-point combination. Uh, 6 versus a 15 with a 3. That's a scoring punch for Holyfield. 01 is a 2 point punch with a cut possibility. These guys are going for blood here. That's a 15, so he's okay. Hello? Dice on the floor. Live TV. It is an 87. So <laughs> the goal is not to fall down. I have an outtake on Twitch where I lost a pawn and we have a problem, Mr. President, and uh, yeah, fell over. Okay, 17 versus 16 is a defended punch for Foreman. 87 is a one point combination. Yeah, the yellow pawn, and we have a problem, Mr. President, fell. This room slants. This, although the room slants this way. I had, when I did that video, I was facing the other way. Uh, so, yeah, I went to try to grab it, and I went right over. Uh, five versus a nine, or nine versus a five, my apologies. So the nine is actually going to play. Uh, four with an 11. It's a scoring punch for uh, Foreman, and it, it again is a knockdown attempt. Because he can do K10 for at least two more rounds. It's a 44 this time, so it's going to be a three point punch. And that will end the round. Two, four, six, eight, oh, nine, twelve points for Holyfield. Only five for, or, no, I'm sorry, 12 points for Foreman, five points for Holyfield. So Holyfield gets two TKO points added on to him. And Foreman, luck us out, does not get that other one. Because if he had gotten six points, he would have had a second and he'd be getting closer. So let's roll for Holyfield. Uh, he's going to stay in the outside. So everything remains the same except for... Um, endurance. Uh, unfortunately, Foreman's gonna have to either knock him down, or I don't know, because he's gonna he's Superman right now, but in a few rounds he's gonna be starting to fade because he is now at a six endurance versus uh, Holyfield, who even though he lost four points in this one, uh, is at seventeen. All right, here we go. Round three. Oh, I can tell you, we, we know for a fact that uh, this round was a... Even though we're not scoring the, the regular rounds, in this round we know for a fact that it was 10-9, 10-9, 10-9. 
uh, because of the differential. Okay. All right, two versus a six, uh, so it's split. Um, what are they? They're in normal right now, right? Pressure versus outside is normal. Okay, so 67 in normal is a miss exchange. Both fighters swing and miss. Um, one versus an eight is going to be split. It's 57, so uh, this time they juke and move. It's a lot slower start to this round. Uh, 16 versus a 6 with a 5. That's a scoring punch for Foreman. 84 is a 2-point uppercut. Uh, 20 versus 3 with a 3. That is a scoring punch for Foreman. 49 is a 1-point up. Uh, six versus a 19, uh, two point, or with a two, sorry, this is a scoring punch for Holyfield in the blue. 84 is a one point hook, so he gets on the board for this round. Uh, three versus a 12, uh, with a two is a 69, that's a scoring punch for Holyfield, and that'll be a one point hook. Uh, 15 versus 17. Now that's going to be interesting because it's plus 7 versus plus 7. He's an 8. He's the 10. Plus 8, plus 8. So it will go under a split uh, action. And an 81 in normal is a 1 point even exchange between both fighters. So. Uh, 11 versus a 3 with a 1 is a defended punch uh, for Foreman. So we check 42. It's still a 1 point hook. And our last exchange for the round. Uh, 11 versus 9 with a 4. It's a scoring punch for Foreman. 0 2 is a two-point cross with a cut possibility. But again, like we said earlier, uh, Holyfield's cut rating you know, is so high that it's only a one or a two. But it's a one. Oh, no, he's cut. So I'm going to roll on the cut chart. It's a 25. So it's not too bad. A little minor swelling on the right eye. Okay, so the round is over. That is another winning round for Foreman. He's three, four, five, six, seven points to three points for Holyfield. So there'll be a fourth TKO point for Holyfield. And we will roll to see what happens with him. What's he going to do? He's going to stay in the outside. So again, for this round only, everything will stay the same. Okay, I heard a cat, but there's two cats in the room, but one that did not, or they're both sleeping, so. <laughs> so two points for Foreman, uh, three points for Holyfield. So he's at 14, Foreman's at two, so there's no way. that he's going to not be fatigued after the end of this round. And what's going to be interesting is because he's in the pressure situation and he's only got a one defense, if he stays in pressure next time, he'll be uh, a zero defense. Okay, so here we go, round four. Uh, 12 versus 12. Uh, that goes to Foreman because he's plus four versus plus two. It's a six and oh two. He goes a great back for that cut possibility 
two point cross cut possibility. Let's see, I said it before one or two, but he got a one last time. Who knows? It's an eight, so he's okay. Uh, 10 versus 20. Oh, no, 20 versus 10, sorry. With a 6, scoring punch for four men. 37 is a one-point cross. Uh, 19 versus 6 with a 3. That is a scoring punch for four men, and it's a 93, which is a two-point hook. If it had been a 92, it would have been a knockdown attempt. Uh, 10 versus 6 goes to Foreman. No, I'm sorry, Holyfield, sorry. Because it's 6 versus 10. Goes to Holyfield. It's a 2. Scoring punch, and it's a 60. It is a K5 knockdown attempt. So, uh, Foreman also currently at the moment is chin 8, so we're still on that uh, section. That's uh, a 44, so it's a 3 point punch. After getting hit with five straight points, uh, Warman, I mean Holyfield, comes back with a three-point shot, and he's going to get control over the next round of roll. It's a two, so it's a scoring punch. It's a 51, which is a K6, and he is a six, so this is another knockdown attempt. This time it's a 14. Uh, that is a four-point punch. So he is going to roll on the finisher uh, chart right here. Now he gets a plus one on his finish, on a plus one advantage on the finisher. And he rolls a 20, so it's a K1. It's another knockdown attempt. This fight is just turned here. And there is a thing where uh, Foreman gets 14 points. He's out because his TKO rating is so low. 14 one round. So he's going to roll. Holyfield's going to roll again on the, finish, on the knockdown chart. It's a 44. So that is a three-point punch. That is now ten points in the last minute, and he's got control again. It's a five. Obviously, it's a scoring punch. Thirty-nine is a one-point cross. So he's now scored eleven. If he scores, it okay. I'm very popular, apparently. Uh, if he scores three points in the next round, uh, uh, I love how work on my day off messages me. <laughs> um, if he scores three more points in the round, in the next two rolls, he would win the fight. Because of the 14 point limit per, for a single round. It's 14 versus 18. It is a scoring punch. And it is a hit for Holyfield. Plus, yeah, plus 6 versus plus 8. Goes to Holyfield. And it's a 99. It is a 2-point hook. So if Holyfield scores one more point, this fight is over. Because it is 7, 10, 13 right now. And it's 14 for 3. And I'm just going to throw this out there. The fight is over because it's 10 versus 15. So plus 2 versus plus 7. Or plus 5, sorry. It is a 4, so that's a scoring punch. And it's an 89. It is a 2-point double jab. That is 15 points for the round. And the fight has been stopped. The ref is taken over. And the fight is over. A Vander Holyfield... Stunning the crowd after the first three rounds and winning the fight. So that means 
Holyfield's going to go to 2 and 0. Foreman is going to go to 1 and 1. All right, so let's send you back to the high volume games control tower and we'll uh, get you well, we'll get you the end results. All right, that was a very fun, interesting match because, you know, it was definitely going one way and all of a sudden it turned. But that's boxing. I mean, really, it just comes down to it, you know, you think you know, but you really have no idea what's going to end up happening. And there we do. We see, we see Evander Holyfield take the win. Now, he is going in my federation, as I explained earlier, uh, where winners fight winners, losers fight losers. Uh, He's going to go into the winner's side. So, so far in this uh, round, we've got Jersey Joe Walcott, the Siberian Bull, Ivan Drago, and Michael Moore have advanced or have moved into the winner's side for this next round. And unfortunately, a very, very strong uh, candidate goes into the loser's bracket, as we will see George Foreman go into the loser's round. And uh, with red so far, Mark Gastineau, Sonny Listed, and Axel Schultz. So as of right now, those are the people who will be. So we'll see when I do the draw, which we did the random draw uh, last time on the YouTube. We'll pull the names from the loser's bracket. We'll pull the names from the winner's bracket and get our schedule. So that is going to be it for today. Uh, just a heads up, next week we're doing a Ode to Wrestling. So, as you know, I've been doing the Promotion Wars uh, channel, or well, the series. Uh, we're going to do a round of that, but we're also going to play uh, two board games. Uh, we're going to play Face to the Mat from Play Games, and we're going to play uh, Book It from Foam Hammer Games. Uh, both, all three games are very good wrestling games, and all three a little different. And all three should be very fun. So, till next time, I hope everyone is well, and we will see you soon. Bye now.